So take us through this decision. We've been talking a lot about the risk calculations for CEOs around these kinds of issues today and yesterday. What happened Saturday behind the scenes at GoDaddy that led you to pull this site and make this announcement Sunday evening? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. So look, we, we, we always have to ride the fence on top of making sure that we are protecting a free and open internet. And regardless of whether, you know, uh, uh, speech is uh, hateful, bigoted, racist, ignorant, tasteless. Uh, in many cases, we, we will still keep that content up because we don't want to be a censor. And certainly First Amendment rights matter, not just in speech, but on the internet as well. But when, when the line gets crossed and that speech starts to incite violence, then we have a, we have a responsibility to take that down. And clearly, with the events that happened in Charlottesville, we felt the Daily Stormer went too far, crossed the line, uh, and we had conversations amongst ourselves, the exec team, uh, about what we should do. And we decided, look, we're going to take this down. We don't think it has any business being, uh, being on the Internet. So we gave 24 hours notice to the Daily Stormer to move their site uh, somewhere else. I mean, with all due respect, that's when you decided that it could promote violent behavior. Why host a site to begin with that promotes anti-Semitism, neo-Nazism, and white nationalism? Well, you know, I, I understand that, that I understand that position. Still, you know, First Amendment rights protect people's ability to, to represent their beliefs. As, as ignorant and tasteless as those beliefs are, they have the right to do those things. And I think when they step over the line and become, you know, I think targeting individuals with, with uh, violence, which clearly, I think, on the heels, again, of Charlottesville was there. We thought we had a responsibility to do it. And frankly, we had looked at Daily Stormer because folks had reported it to us. And we have a team of people that continue to monitor sites when they're reported to us. And over the last decade, we have had folks that take content, uh, take content reports, review the sites and decide what we're going to do with them. And again, it's a very fine line between making sure we're not being a censor and making sure we're acting uh, in, in a responsible manner when we think a, a, a group of people or an individual is being targeted with violence. And that's what we did. Blake, just to help viewers understand, uh, how big a deal is this? How often do you do something like this where you actually pull you, something off? Yeah, Carl, well, pr pretty often. So there, there's actually, we have a number, of, we have a, you know, a, a pretty large team focused on content. And, you know, in this case, we hosted the website. We didn't even host the... We, we didn't host the website, we hosted the domain. So the website was actually hosted somewhere else. We hosted the domain and we thought that, you know, frankly, when you manage the DNS of uh, the, the domain name space of uh, the address of somebody, you can, you can take them offline. So many cases when we don't host the website and we do host the domain and we have 71 million domains, 17 million customers, that uh, we'll take it down. And it's not, a, it's not a super unusual thing for us to respond to a content request and, and have, have to do that kind of thing. Blake, we've seen a number of other companies, uh, for example, Twitter, having to grapple with the issue of getting terrorists off of its website. Kara Swisher yesterday told us that she thought companies providing any kind of services, even a company like PayPal to a site like that, should think carefully about whether they want to continue to do so. What would be your internal decision making about which sites were OK and which were not? Going back to your point about free speech earlier, do you have an internal way of deciding or is there an external sort of guide that you can go upon when it comes to making these tough calls? No, our, 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 our terms of service is very clear that as soon as the line is crossed, and it is inciting violence against a group or an individual, we take the site down. You know, short of that, if somebody is, you know, espousing their beliefs, which we believe are ignorant, tasteless, racist, bigoted, you know, we, we can't really do a whole lot without becoming a censor. We don't think that's our business to be a censor. As soon as that line is crossed, we act. Uh, and that's the conversation we had. Clearly, this was, a, this, was, this was breaking our terms of service, and we took them down. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.